So I want to talk about an anime from this summer season that has had me dying laughing every single episode, and that is Level 1 Demon Lord and One Room Hero. Now this anime is a very interesting concept because it kind of shows like what happens after the hero's party basically take out the Demon Lord, and that's kind of what this show is, and it's wild because it's hilarious what it, this show is about. So basically you have the main hero, Max, him and his party took out the Demon Lord 10 years ago, and then when the Demon Lord was dying was saying, yo, I will return, and we fast forward 10 years to the present, and we see the Demon Lord has returned and demon lord is now like a little kid looks like a little kid and we see that the demon lord wants to find max because of like the fight they had the demon lord's like yo i'm gonna do this fight again because max was like an amazing hero and i want to fight him again and that's what demon lord says but then you have his the demon lord's assistant zinnia right there she's like yeah you might not want to do that like like you don't need to worry about max anymore like that's focused on like building up the demons and all that that's not let's forget about max but the demon lord is set on like finding max so the demon lord takes off and then the demon lord finds max and then when the demon lord sees where max Max is living he's living like this like them one type of hotels that are the small ones or just not hotels i say small apartments and the demon lord gets in there and we just see max is just laying on the ground in a filthy ass apartment his sword is just pitched up randomly in the corner and the demon lord's freaking out like yo who is this and then the demon lord does research on max computer and we find out that max has been through some shit these past 10 years because we see after he basically took out the demon lord his party became all famous and all that because one they took out the demon lord they saved the world so everybody puts him on this pedestal he's all famous but we see this man was used his fame you know to do bad things and go the wrong way because one we found out this man was on one he was like getting with with any and all types of women literally was I think they said he had like 10 different like divorce like he was messing with 10 different like women that were married and cheating and all this other stuff yeah he was basically wasn't he ain't shit that's what he was and he was just doing a lot of whole bunch of stuff that he didn't need to be doing with women drugs alcohol all this other type of stuff so like he was living it up and then now we see that people don't care about him because like he's a hero and we see like he basically dresses like a bum doesn't do nothing he's basically just shut in we see that he has like magazines and other things that he does and just know it's some wild stuff bruh there's a moment in the first episode when he takes out the demon lord throws the demon lord in the closet and this man was about to you know handle some business that he does with himself by watching something on the computer and i was just like dog i was like no max is not but yeah as episodes have gone on we've gotten more and more wild things learn stuff about his backstory we meet some of his friends from the hero party like what they're doing so one of the things we do see is like we get to see like what's the rest of the hero party doing and like what they've been up to we see that fred's like the chief or something to the magic department or something like that and then we see that leo is like trying to run his own country because like he got kicked out or whatever but we see like the empire is trying to attack his country so he's he's basically trying to defend this one country and like we see there's a fight and all that in the most recent episode fred and leo have been fighting on different sides and then when it comes to like the magician that was in their party we really don't know what she's doing but there is one character that kind of reveals what she's been doing because there's this little girl that literally dead ass looks like the witch that was part of their or the magician that was part of their party and like i'm pretty sure more than likely that's her daughter because out of all the whenever he like max goes to like have to play with the kids and other stuff the one girl's always like yeah my mom says it's okay to be around you and like and it's kind of giving off that the little girl's um, mom is like the wizard and that's why she probably allows her to be by max and all that even though everybody knows max ain't shit and he just is like a bum and that man be on one he's a horn dog type of shit but yeah i really do like the plot of this because it's just funny just seeing like a hero that became basically a lazy bum and just as the, like out of the spotlight and he doesn't get paid or anything anymore because like all the shit he did in his past because he let the fame go to his head and he was using it you know he had to i mean he was using he was like yo i got power in women now and he was taking advantage of it and that's what he did even though he was cheating a lot being with multiple women divorces all this other type of stuff he was on one but we see that him and the demon lord have a funny relationship because like they basically the demon lord takes care of him because this man doesn't know how to take care of himself and the demon lord cleans up his room makes some food all this other stuff and then there's also this ghost that lives in the closet that like only fred can see and like every time fred goes over he's scared out of his goddamn mind or if he contacts max the um the ghost will say something to him and he's like scared for his mind and then you have zinnia who's wearing we'll say a swim she's wearing a school swimsuit and we just say it's very tight on her and just knowing the manga just know it was like a different she had that swimsuit showing something more than what the anime showing i will say that though but yeah for the most part i've really been loving this anime and it's been hilarious and i just like the take that it's have on it because it's different than like the usual one when it has like you know a hero like goes to defeat the demon lord but we get the aftermath i know there was an anime before i forgot exactly because it came out like a few like um seasons ago and it was about like the hero i think it was like i'm quitting heroing or something like that and it was the one where like they got mad after he like he defeated the demon lord and he 
became the demon lord so yeah it's kind of like a take on that but this one's different because we see that max is just straight up um a bum and he does a lot of shit he shouldn't be doing but it's hilarious because each episode will have you rolling and the fights that are in there actually look really good like the fight that's happening between fred and leo was pretty dope like them going back and forth even though like they're friends and then you have max struggling trying to do something but then you have the demon lord going there trying to act like oh the demon lord's back but then they literally smack her basically they smack the demon lord away because like the demon lord does not have it the power that th that the demon lord had like 10 years ago because one the demon lord just got reincarnated and also in their world like the demons have like up to like eight lives or something random like that that's one of the random things they're trying to do and there's a lot of funny episodes like there's an episode where the demon lord's trying to find like a woman to be with max and like it's hilarious because like they have they put zinnia there and he's looking like no i don't want nothing to do with her because the first time him and zinnia met zinnia got drunk and then she chased him around like all over the city like butt ass naked she was chasing after him and then it was and then she got they both got like picked up and sent to jail is hilarious but yeah i've really been enjoying this anime if you're not watching this why not watch it? it's on high dive or you know hopping a pirate should watch it that way too though but it's a really good anime it'll have you dying of laughter and i just love like the dynamic between all the characters even when zinnia got caught in like the magic um department thing there was like the one redhead girl and they had like this little connection it was hilarious because the redhead girl kept doing all the stuff that zinnia needed to do zinnia needed to go to the bathroom she let her go to the bathroom she was literally feeding zinnia so then like, when a bomb goes off in that building zinnia eventually saves her and brings her back to like max's apartment all this other stuff so yeah there's like the dynamic between all the characters i'm curious to see where the story's gonna go now because we see that max tried to interrupt the fight but instead of interrupting he got his L he got his ass just like smacked because both of them fired on him because he was trying to stop them and it did not pan out but the little candy he got from the little girl it seemed like that might help and we finally did get a little bit of like backstory and seeing like what the wizard girl was like because we did not or the mage i should say because we have not seen nothing until like the most recent episodes everything else they would never show her but we finally saw her and that's why i also think like the one little girl has to be related to that witch because i think that's her daughter because like it just gives off that it is because they literally look similar and like her not being around then it would make sense like why she's not around and all that because one she's raising a family and that would make sense but yeah if you watch this anime let me know how i feel about it if you've not checked it out please watch it because level one demon lord and one room hero has been hilarious and it's been a great watch each week and i've really been enjoying it and i love the dynamic between all the characters and it's so goddamn funny because they're always doing some funny shit between all the characters and also the demon lord transforms into this woman that wears a certain unique outfit that's kind of too small for her but she doesn't understand even though there's like whenever she transforms into the woman it seems like there's little feelings between her and max i'm just like why but still there's just some funny moments between them especially like how um everybody doesn't realize that she's the demon lord like when she's in the like the um the form and even max was like dog are you a guy or a girl and she's like i'm the demon lord it don't matter so it was just funny moments but yeah if you watch this let me know how i feel about it. if you haven't seen it why not check it out like i said it's on high dive or you can watch it another way too though but yeah if you enjoyed the video why not like if you didn't you could dislike subscribe if you really enjoyed but yes i've really been enjoying this anime and i can't wait to see how the rest of the season is going to end because hey i want to see what's going to happen now that max is there with leo and them is he going to actually stop them or are they going to keep fighting and just let him lay there and like it was hilarious when the demon lord thought she was really going to do something and, and like she didn't do nothing at all though but yeah this anime has been hilarious though and i've really been enjoying it but thanks for watching i'll see you next video bye, -bye.